welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. Uh, this is kind of going to be a little Thanksgiving uh, message or some thoughts on Thanksgiving. Let me ask you a question. Do you know how God looks at a thankful person? Let me tell you something. Being thankful is a big deal to God. In fact, if you look in the Bible in a concordance, that's usually in the back of your Bible, all the verses listed in the Bible that deal with gratitude, thanks, or thanksgiving. That might be a little assignment you want to take. So here's a question for you today. Are you a thankful person? Do you show your thanks to God and your gratitude to others frequently? So um, I want to read a little thought to you here and then close with the scripture. And this will be our little uh, Thanksgiving thought. This is called a memo from God. This is God. Today I will be handling all your problems. I do not need your help. So have a nice day. I love you. God. If life happens to deliver a situation to you that you cannot handle, do not attempt to resolve it yourself. Kindly put it in the SFGTD, that is something for God to do, box. I will get to it in my time. All situations will be resolved but in my time, not yours. Once the matter is placed into the box, do not hold on to it by worrying about it. Focus on the wonderful things that are present in your life now. So here's some advice for some specific situations. Number one, should you find yourself stuck in traffic, don't despair. There are people in this world for whom driving is an unheard of privilege. Should you have a bad day at work, think of the man or the woman who has been out of work for years. Should you despair over a relationship gone bad, think of the person who has never known what it's like to love and be loved in return. Should you grieve the passing of another weekend, think of the people in dire straits working 12 hours a day, seven days a week to feed their children. Should your car break down? Ooh, I don't like that one. Should your car break down, leaving you miles away from assistance? Think of the paraplegic who would love the opportunity just to take a walk. Should you notice a new gray hair in the mirror? Think of the cancer patients in chemo who wish they had hair to examine. Should you find yourself at loss and pondering what life is all about? Asking, what is my purpose? Be thankful. There are those who didn't live long enough even to be given that opportunity to ask the question. Should you find yourself the victim of other people's bitterness, ignorance, smallness, or insecurities? Remember, things could be worse. You could be one of them. So there's a powerful passage of scripture in First Chronicles in the Old Testament and beginning with verse number 10. Then David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly. And this is what he said. O Lord, the God of our ancestor Israel, may you be praised forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, and the victory, and the majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours, not mine, not yours, his. O Lord, and, and, and this is your kingdom. We adore you as the one who is over all things. Wealth and honor come from you alone, for you rule over everything. Power and might are in your hand, and at your discretion people are made great and given strength. Oh, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Everything we have, everything we have has come from you, and we give you only what you first gave us. Well, may this Thanksgiving for you lead to a life of thanks living. You think about that.